okay so uh, first of all we will install the mac ports so uh, open up the mac port site and then click on installing mac ports uh, and for the version which you have uh, download the mac ports uh, package file and install it okay so once uh, the port met the mac port is installed in your system what you need to do is just type gcc11 mac ports and open up the first link and uh, select copy to copy to clipboard and after that you can paste it in your terminal and type your password it will take some time to install as it will download all the packages and then install okay so once uh, the port is in the mac ports installs the gcc 11 what you need to do is uh, to set this port as default port so first of all we'll check if it's successfully installed and for that we will write port select list gcc so it should show uh, this MP GCC 11 if it's not showing means that you did something wrong uh, now we need to default it to replace it to replace the Apple LVM so what we need to do is uh, for that specific GCC keyword it should select the the GCC which we just installed and not the Apple one so for that we need to what we need to do is to write sudo port select set gcc as mp gcc 11 sudo port select set gcc mp 11 okay so it shows that uh, selecting mp gcc 11 for gcc succeeded mp gcc 11 is now active so uh, if I restart the terminal and I type GCC version okay so once we set the default po default port we can check the GCC so for that we will write GCC version so as you can see uh, it's showing the Mac port GCC 11, 11.3.0.5 so that means we successfully installed it now to try it out what I will do is uh, basically I will make a new file for that I will make new folder test folder C test folder okay so for making new file I will use nano uh, new name or cpp I think you I will stream and main SD C out hello world handle control O to write control X to exit now let's try to compile it so gcc and uh, no name dot cpp and the argument is std is equal to c plus plus 23 so let's try okay it's showing error uh, so i forgot to add the std namespace here std now it should work So G plus plus no number CPP and let's try to compile. As you can see, it compiled well. Let's try to run its binary. So as you can see, it's working fine. It's showing hello world. 
so this was the tutorial how to install the GNU GCC in your Mac system and replace the old Apple LLBM with this GNU GCC.